as I said at the beginning this morning, thank you. And both, all three, Jane, Terry, and Gary talked to this. We wouldn't be here but for you. But for the feedback, the leadership, the advocacy, the support, the cajoling that's required to really get this done. And so we, we dedicated this afternoon, we have some time, dedicated time. We have commitment to be here for a couple hours, but really this is your time in some respects to ask us questions and to see how your feedback helped inform what we want to do. But like what I said at this morning's outset, NRC al uh, NRCS alone can't do this. The only way we're all going to be successful is if we're all involved and ultimately in the success on the ground. And so while we're bringing and celebrating a little bit of extra resources, that's only going to be a part of the solution, and it's going to really require all of us rowing together. There's going to be gaps that NRCS will never be able to fill, starting with just the boots on the ground. We really have to have professionals in the field to work with the producers, provide those conservation plans, get enrolled in programs, whether it's a state program, a local program, private program, an NRCS program. Uh, we need the agribusiness community, like they're already doing, to even further expand what they're doing across the basin. We need researchers and scientists to help devise the tools that will help target the conservation even more effectively and hold us accountable for what's ultimately happening in the water. Uh, and we need the support of our state agencies, soil water conservation district partners, other federal partners like the Corps here, which I really respect and appreciate. Uh, together we can help fill those gaps, but alone we'll never be successful. So we have a, a kind of a two-part agenda here today. The first part is really allow us to get a little bit more in depth on the Conservation Effects Assessment Project, SEEP, the special uh, study we had just on Western Lake Erie Basin. So we have uh, our preeminent scientist, Dr. Lee Norfleet here, and he's going to walk us through really what the key findings are. I glanced just on the surface of those this morning. I'm not going to reiter reiterate that for the sake of time. I really would rather have Lee have the floor to really get in depth and review what we found, but then also how some of the science informed where we're going next with on-the-ground action. Really, what is the science and the SEEP tool helping us where we need to go in terms of conservation delivery? The second part is then going to be talking about this initiative. Uh, in, in my view, my personal hope is, is that this does not have the NRCS alone acronym on the initiative. This has to be a joint shared partnership initiative. And in other parts of the country where we've had these large landscape approaches, the only way they are successful in work is if there's a shared vision, ultimately how we want to be successful. And that shared vision starts with having su successful working lands, working in partnership with others in the scientific and conservation communities, co-investing together, taking action together, reporting results together, and ultimately we're fixing problems across the country elsewhere. And I think all the ingredients for success are right here, if, if anything, more so right here in Lake Erie Basin than anywhere else in the country I've been. So we're going to talk again and ask my colleagues, uh, the three state conservationists, to get, again, tactical as to how the initiative is going to work, how it complements existing both state, local, and private efforts. But ultimately, I really want to hear and touch upon what we heard from you guys as part of those listening sessions, the feedback you provided us, how it helped inform where we're going next, and then our appeal and really a call for help, that there's some things that we can do. We have some financial assistance. Yes, we have some field staff. Never have the capacity to do everything we need to do, and that's where we have some key areas we're going to need partners to continue to invest with us, alongside us, to help amplify ultimately results on the ground. So with that, uh, let me hand this over to Lee. Lee, take us away. All right.